welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi and I'm so happy that you're here today I am doing a very quick get ready with me very simple look as you can see just more of like a tan glowy look I'm gonna be getting ready for the day I'm going to head off to lunch with my mom for her birthday so I just wanted to film myself getting ready so if you want to see how I got this look and oh I actually used the Sephora destinations palette off the grid this is the first time i used this palette beautiful palette i actually really liked it so if you want to see how i achieved this look using this palette then please keep watching so to start i'm going to just get my hair out of my face today we have a very long day planned ahead it is my mother's birthday well her birthday was a couple days ago but we're gonna go out to celebrate it today for lunch with a couple of my aunts and my sisters so it's going to be like a, a ladies day which is going to be so fun i'm really excited about that so for starters we're gonna go in with a damp beauty blender i'm gonna use that today and then for foundation today i want to do today i'm going to use the charlotte's beautiful skin foundation and i am in the shade eight neutral so I'm going to take this onto my beauty blender directly and then apply it to my face. And I'm not wearing any primer today. I never really wear primer actually. What I do is because I already wash my face, I already prep it with lotion and sunscreen, etc. That pretty much is my base. So I'm just gonna start dabbing this all over the face. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my life lately. There's been quite a few things going on um my husband and i just came back from seattle because my birthday was actually just last week as well seattle was so much fun we went actually for my husband's work he had to go to a trade show and his the company that wanted him to go to the trade show was extremely nice and they actually sent me with him which was such a nice little treat seattle was actually uh, actually had pretty good weather now that i'm thinking about it the first day that we arrived which was on thursday it was rainy um which of course is expected in seattle but on come friday which was my actual birthday the sun was out so it was really nice we were able to go around the entire like pike place marketplace and or I don't know if it's Pike Place. I forgot what it's called, but we were able to do that. We were able to actually get some shopping done. We went to like their Ross and their TJ Maxx. And oh my gosh, they had really good stuff there. I was actually, we were really shocked at the stuff we were able to buy. I'm gonna do one more pump directly onto my beauty blender. I, I wanna cover up quite a bit of acne I got going on. Anyway, so my husband and I, we were able to find actually really good stuff at the Ross and the TJ Maxx out there, we were so shocked. My husband is obsessed with, um, okay, I shouldn't say that. My husband loves um, Under Armour. He loves that brand. And that's always like his splurge, Under Armour. So we went to the Ross out there and we were able to find so much Under Armour there. Project Rock though, which was really shocking because out here, like you don't find that at all. The Project Rock is about like maybe $140 a pair, like a pair of shoes. We were able to get them for like $40, like it's crazy. So we totally stocked up with purchases out there. We were able to get a lot of really cool like designer clothes that we can't find here because they just, for some reason, they don't carry it or we miss it. We I don't know we just don't find it here so that was really cool that we were able to to do that and it was really nice to just kind of get away for a little bit even though it was just more like three days it was that was really nice and this bronzer is very much a blush bronzer together as you can see it's very it's still very bronzy but it has a hint of pink to it which i love this is very good for like a one and done so i grabbed that i'm done with that now I'm going to set my whole face with powder and I'm going to be using the Giorgio Armani powder and this one is in the shade number seven. So I'm going to set my whole face with that. This powder is my absolute favorite, favorite face powder, which makes me so sad because I definitely need a new one of these and I refuse to buy it. I mean, you guys have to tell me if you've tried it before because I love this powder so much. 
Now I'm going to go in really quick to do my brows and I'm going to be using the Gimme Brow in the shade number three by Benefit. And it's the one that has just the little spoolie at the end. And this is just for like super quick brows. I'm not a big brow person. I don't have a lot of brow products. I don't, it's not really like my thing. Let's brush this in. Today was actually, actually no, yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of the Sephora VIB sale. I actually got quite a few certificates for my birthday this year for Sephora, which I'm really excited about. I was able to order pretty much everything on my wish list, which was awesome. I fo I'm trying to focus a little bit more on skincare as opposed to makeup, just because I have so much makeup. I've already done a declutter. I have another declutter I'm gonna actually film later today. I just, I don't know. I haven't been super into buying new makeup. I really wanna use up what I have. I don't know. You guys have to let me know if you run into those types of ruts as well. And today I'm going to be using the a palette by Sephora. This is the Sephora's Destinations. And this one is in, oh, off the grid. It says it on the side. It's, called, it's off the grid, so I'll show you that. And then this is what the palette looks like. Very neutral, very pretty. So we're gonna go in with this today. And I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put this all over my brow bone or underneath my brow bone, I should say. The Sephora sale has already started. I was able to place a pretty large order, which I'm really excited for everything to start arriving. I will film a video of what I did order off of Sephora. I will have that up probably next week sometime when everything arrives. Uh, you guys will have to tell me what you got from the Sephora sale. I tried to be really good this time around. I'm going to take this shade and place it all over the lid. This is really dusty actually. Yeah, you guys want to tell me what it is that you ordered from the Sephora sale. I'm always interested in what people like to buy. This year I really focused on more so skincare, or not this year, but this sale. Um, skincare, there's just quite a few things I really wanted to try and I just I have so much makeup I really need to like get through it and use it. I don't I hate when I buy so much and I don't get to the products that I have Like I said, I just recently did a declutter. I'm going to go into my crease and use this one um, I did a recently a declutter which I will be filming and have that up I just got rid of so much. I had to because there were certain areas in my makeup collection that I was noticing that I just kind of kept avoiding because I had products that I don't like using. And so I was like, well, you know what? I'm just going to get rid of it. At this point, I didn't want to get rid of it because it was either so like so expensive or, you know, they really are nice shades. I just don't reach for them. And because of that, I just avoid it. So I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done doing that. I'm done holding on to things that I don't like. So I just... Or not that I don't like, I just don't use. I'm, anyway, I'm rambling. So I am going to film that video soon. Actually, probably today I'm filming that. And I'll have that up. And I made room for a few things that I purchased from the Sephora sale this time. There are a couple of things that I purchased on a whim that I'm probably going to end up returning because I just kind of fell into the hype. Like everybody was like, this is good, this is good. And you know how it is when you, when you watch people's videos i'm going to take this shade and put it in my crease as well just to kind of lighten it up ah. and you know how it is you start to like listen to everybody like oh this is good this get this get that and i was like oh okay i need to get it <laughs> so i did but i'm probably going to be returning some of that stuff which i'll point out in the video if i do like i ordered the merit lip oil the new one everybody was raving about it saying it was so good and I'm sure it is if everybody's raving about it, but I don't know if I need it. But my eyes, I'm going for like a very neutral eye look today, always. And I, I do have some really pretty shimmers here, but I don't think I want to use it. I think I want to just keep my eyes really simple today. So anyway, this is a really nice palette. It's the first time I use it actually, and blended really nice. They felt really creamy. They are a little powdery, I'll say that, but nothing Nothing de that's like deterring from using it. So I'm really glad I picked that up. So up next, we're gonna do my lashes and I'm gonna use my Shiseido Curler, which I use all the time. And then this is the Makeup Forever, the Profession All. And this is the one that has the dual side, step one, step two. So going to use this today on my lashes. Oh, you know what's one thing I wanted to talk about? Are any of you guys attending the Taylor Swift Eras Tour? You know, I'm really curious as to 
if you guys were even able to get tickets to that. I did not try to get tickets to, to that show at all, but I've been seeing it on, I don't have TikTok, I know. I'm like an old lady. I don't have TikTok, but I do see like a lot of those videos on Instagram. It looks like such a fun tour, but I have to say I'm one of those people that when I go see an artist at a concert, I like to be able to actually see them. I like to be close. Because for me in my head, if I'm gonna go to a concert and pay that kind of money, I want to pay the big bucks to be able to be up close to where I can actually see the artist because I can see anybody at home on a big TV. That's, that's just me, my personal preference. Now, because these tickets were so freaking expensive from what I hear, I don't blame anybody for paying to be a little further away. But the concert looks so fun. I Like I said, I didn't try to get tickets to it, so I, I'm not going. But are any of you guys going? Because if you are, I'm kind of jealous, to be completely honest. The show looks so fun. It looks She looks like she did such a good job with her production. I'm... I actually really kind of wish I was going. It looks like such a fun tour. Is there anybody you guys are actually catching this summer on tour? I'm curious because I know there's a lot of tours going on right now and a lot of people are, are actually going to be touring this summer. So like Missy Elliott, Missy Elliott is going to be in LA, which I was really shocked to hear because she, I don't remember the last time she even went on tour. And I don't know if it's a tour, if it, it, I believe it's just a one night and she's going to be here in LA. I actually kind of want to go see that because I totally grew up with Missy Elliott. Sorry, it's really hard to concentrate and do lashes. I wasn't going to do blush, but I do want to do a little bit of it. So I'm going to go in with the NARS Orgasm. And this one is just one of the minis that I have. So I'm going to use this one today. Just a tiny hint of pink. So I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to put it on tops of my cheeks as well as over the nose. And it's going to just be very light. Yeah, that's good. It's just really, really light. And now I'm going to set my face. And I'm going to use the coconut. This Oh, this is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. And then I'm going to dry it down with my fan. And then I'm going to use the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in the shade trespassing taupe i just use this as an eyeliner um, very last thing i'm going to do is my lips so i think today i'm going to do this is the nyx professional makeup this one is in the shade need me and i love these eyeliners because they're so creamy but i hate the cap like this does not stay on at all so the cap is like useless there's no point in having it so I'm going to line my lips with this. Now the problem I have with liners, to be honest, is just my lips are already pigmented. So liners don't always show up on my lips, unfortunately. That's the reason why I only stick to like nudes and nude pinks and stuff because if I, I can't do any other color. All of the browns and the, the nudes and all that, they all pretty much look the same on my skin, on my lips I mean, because of the pigmentation that my lips already have. Because of that, I'm very limited to lip, lip liners, but that's okay. And for lipstick, I'm going to use the Merit, and this one is in the shade Slip. Beautiful nude shade. Just put that on top. I love this color. And that's it, guys. That is the whole look for today. Very, very simple. Very, it looks nice. It looks like I kind of just have like a tan, which is kind of nice. This is the first time I used this palette, the Destinations in the shade Off the Grid. This palette was incredible, so good. I'm shocked at how much I loved all of these powders. They went on really nice, blended really easily. I really like this, this is a really nice everyday palette. That's it guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Thanks, bye.